Okay, the biblical truth of our hymns in a thunderstorm. So, it's quite, quite interesting thunderstorm. So today, we've got Jesus I Come from William True Sleeper, Congregationalist, Reverend. This is interesting. I couldn't find any history behind it. I wish I could. But if I don't hit you with this hymn, this hymn, there's only two people, one I've known about in my life, where they were too vile and too wicked for God to save. One, I had a pastor deal with an old woman. There was another guy that I was trying to help a Christian witness to, and they're just too vile and wicked, though they're not. Anybody can call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. This hymn here will, I mean, if it misses you, you're dead. Out of my bondage, bondage of sin. You may say, well, I'm not into handcuffs, I'm not chained, but your bondage to sin. You're tied to whatever sin you are that you have to go back and get more. You have to keep relishing in the moment of that sin that you enjoy. Now, you may not have to go steal, but you are a slave to a sin. Sorrow. Sorrow became the, the result of the curse of Eve and Adam. Eve first. Sorrow and misery. Sorrows don't end in, in hell. But when we get to New Jerusalem, sorrows are gone. And night. All that long night in sin. Jesus, I come. That's what you got to do. You got to come. You've got to come with your sin. And listen, anybody witnessing to you is not going to talk about your sin in hell. You need to find somebody else who's going to preach to you right. Who's going to bring to you the true gospel and not another gospel. Because you've got to come to God through Jesus Christ, the sinner that you are. You've got to get that pardon. The only way to get a pardon is you're guilty. Jesus, I come, in case you didn't get it. Into thy freedom. There are many that believe, oh, we live in America, a land of freedom. With taxes, license, permits, fees. There's no freedom. Have me go into the parking lot of a public-owned area where there's a farmer's market with a DJ and have me preach with the, with my amplification in that parking lot and I will have the cops escort me off. I will have to move to the sidewalk and if there's a DJ, I can't use the amplification. That's not freedom. Today's 2020, August. Wherever I got to go, I got to wear a mask. That's not freedom. Almost every weekend, my neighbors down the street have a wild party on the weekend that goes to 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't have freedom from peace and quietness. God gives you freedom from that bondage, gladness, and opposed to the sorrow. There's great joy being saved. There's great joy being a child of God. And light, when it poses the night. And that light is Jesus Christ. Jesus, I come to thee. You can't come to Jesus and go to religion. You can't come to Jesus and go to church. You can't go to Jesus and go to baptism. 
You can't come to Jesus and go to charity. You got to come to thee, Jesus. Out of my sickness. No, not maybe not everybody's sick. There's people who are sick. You're sick with a sin that's going to cause you to die. The wages of sin is death. Into thy health. Out of my want. Into thy wealth. There are things we want. There are things that we want that only God can give. And many of that stuff is through the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, long-suffering. That comes through that comes to the Holy Spirit through faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. I'm not talking about once you want a big fancy car, a big fancy house. Listen, when I get the glory, the Bible says Jesus is building a mansion for me. I'll walk on a street of gold. Twelve gates of a pearl. Each gate is a pearl. When I come to my God to ask, he's got all riches. Get all well. But one of the things I gotta do is I gotta wait. Or I may have to face that God says, No, he'll hurt you. No, it's not good for you. Out of my sin, there it is. Woe be to, to somebody who comes to you, to you without the scriptures, without sin, and without hell. Into the, thyself. You want to get rid of your sin? Come to the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That's how you get rid of your sin. Jesus, I come to thee. Out of my shameful failure. Have you had any failures? That you've been mocked and despised? You fall in that category? And lost. And have a, a loss of a loved one, financial loss, uh, material loss, maybe a divorce. Jesus, I come. Jesus, I come. Now, he may not fix that divorce. He may not put that company back in order. He may not bring that loved one back to life. Into thy glorious gain of the cross, of thy cross. What's the gain? And when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And know that it says thy cross. You know, there were three crosses on that that hill that that, that afternoon. There was an unrepentant thief that died. There was a repentant thief, and he can't save your soul. And there was God in the middle cross. Go to that sinner. Like many go to a priest. And he can't do nothing for you. Go to the repentant thief. All he's going to do is point you to Jesus. Go to Jesus. And he'll be the one that saves you. Jesus, I come to thee. Out of earth's sorrow. This earth has plenty of sorrow. They say life is good. Not without Jesus, it's not. I live, I live behind a hospital. And I hear those, those sirens. And I pray for those sirens. Because I, re I, because I realize that when I hear those sirens. Someone's life has been changed. You say, what if it's a police car? Still, someone's life has been changed. Well, what if it's a false alarm? Well, there was still, I mean, there was almost that need that you thought you needed. Panic and fear. Into thy bond, a, a medicine. Out of life storms, and we got a life storm right now, but this storm ain't nothing. We've been despised and rejected. You lose your job. 
your family goes to poop. The car breaks down. Anything breaks down. You got to open up that wallet. And there's nothing in it. Into thy calm. You know when the fishermen went out in the boat? Jesus was calm asleep on that pillow. And they woke him up in sheer panic. He said, you little faith. Peace. Be still. But. You know, the storms may not go away in our life. Now, I'm not going to tell you, if you, Jesus, you come to him and you get saved and all those storms will go away. They may not go away. But you can get that peace. And you well, maybe get the joy. Don't ever think I'm going to say that salvation will make your life hunky-dunky, great and wonderful and exciting. It might make it quite opposite. Anybody who tells you that salvation will improve your life and all that, they're lying to you. They're deceiving you. Out of distress to jubilant songs. David wrote many psalms of distress. And David wrote many psalms of praise and honor and glory to God. Mountaintops and valleys. Valleys is where we learn. Mountaintop is where we rejoice as we prepare to go back into a valley. What goes up must come down. But in that, Jesus, I come to thee. I don't go to the bank. I don't go to friends. I don't go to the pastor. I come to Jesus first. Then I come to the pastor. Then I come to the church brethren. Then I seek prayer. But Jesus first. Out of unrest. You ever been unrest? Anxiety? God has not given us the spirit of fear. An arrogant pride. Oh, that's America. That's nation. That's religion. Pride is all around. Pride is a sin in the Bible. Jesus, I come. Jesus, I come. Lord, I'm sick of the unrest. I'm sick of the anxiety. Lord, they're prideful. Jesus, can I come? Into thy blessed will. And the blessed will to abide. When you come to Jesus for salvation, it's not temporal. It's everlasting. When you come to Jesus for your soul to be saved, it's not a motel. You don't check out by the next day. You are signed, sealed, and delivered. But again, salvation may be rocky. Salvation may be hardship. Salvation may be, you know, a difficult road. But when you die, When you're absent with the body and present with the Lord, all sin is gone. All trials are gone. And in New Jerusalem, all tears be wiped away. Now, one thing you will get, and I know personally, you will get the love, joy, and peace of God. And I've had trials and tribulations in my time. And I've had people come up to me, how are you handling so well? I'm saying to myself, I am. I don't think I am. Excuse <coughs> me. People say, I let my light shine. No, you don't. Because that light will shine without you even knowing it shines. When you got trials and tribu tribulation in your life, and you got pride in and you get that blessed, be happy, get joy in your spirit, and it stays forever. 
Jesus, I come to thee. I'm tired of this world, Lord. I'm tired of the agony. I am tired. Jesus, I'm coming. And you know, Jesus will meet you. Never will you knock on Jesus' door and he'll say, come back later. As a Christian, you don't knock on Jesus' door. You are seated in heavenly places. Now, God may say, you know, when you pray to God, he may not now. Or he may say no. But he doesn't say, get out of here, kid. You're, you're troubling me. He doesn't say that. We are in the very presence of Almighty God, our Father, through Jesus Christ. Jesus, I come. Out of myself. Oh, that's a sin. That's the modern church themselves. How I feel, what I feel, me, myself, and I. You got to get out of that. You got to take yourself off and put on Jesus. You got to stop being offended. Out of myself to dwell in thy love. When you are in the love of God, it ain't you. It ain't about you. You didn't wake up this morning, well, what can I do for myself? You woke up this morning, how God can use you. I go to church to be blessed. How about going to church to be a blessing? Everybody wants to withdraw, but they don't want to make a deposit. Then their bank account is dead in overdraft. Why? Because you did not make any deposits. You wanted and wanted and wanted and wanted. And then when we die and get to the judgment seat of Christ, you're going to find wood, hay, and stubble. If you are in yourself, you're not going to get gold, precious stones, and silver, and inheritance, and crowns. Out of despair into thy raptures above. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Can't do it. And that's when God can do. When we look at the situation and say, I can't do it, God's like, oh, finally I can use you. Finally. Upward I rise on wings like a dove. Jesus, I come through thee. Anything that the world is throwing at you, anything that Christians are throwing at you, anything your life that are you coming to Jesus? Out of fear and dread of the tomb, death. There's somebody at the farmer's market has been dreaming about death. I've been preaching the gospel. The only way out of that fear is through Jesus Christ who gave his life and takes all fear away. Jesus, I come. Get up out of your bed and come to Jesus. Jesus, I come. You got dread, you got fear of the two. Into thy joy and light of thy home. Translate yourself from the grave the glory. As I said, once we get saved, we are seated in heavenly places, and once we die, we're absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's all through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Jesus, I come to thee. For what? To come home. For salvation. For victory over the grave. To get off that sting of death. You've got to come to Jesus and nobody but Jesus and nothing but Jesus. I come to thee. Out of the depths of ruin. Untold. What's your life like when people that your parents don't know about? Maybe your siblings don't know about. Maybe your own spouse or your children don't know. 
Things are in your life, they're just ruins, they're, they're skeletons in the closet. And you don't need to go and tell others. But you do need to confess and put it to the blood of Jesus Christ where God is able to forgive, to forget, and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Now we may have to read. But isn't it great of our Father in Heaven, sometimes He doesn't allow us to reap all the terrible benefits of our sins? Into the peace of thy sheltering fold, that one sheep that got lost. The shepherd left the ninety and nine. Imagine what that sheep felt when the shepherd come around that corner. And he heard his name or the call. He's coming to get me. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. But I, I hear him. Bah. Bah. I've been bad. And that shepherd comes up and sees that sheep. Oh, you stupid little sheep. You get over here and get in my arms. He loves us. He loves Listen. If you're not saved, you're not a sheep. You're a goat. Ever thy glorious face to behold. Once we're absent from the body or the rapture, we're never ever not going to see that face again. When we're in New Jerusalem, it's not going to be like... Uh, well, where did Jesus go? Oh, well, he stepped out for a while. That ain't going to be like that. Not going to be like that at all. Jesus, I come to thee. Did this hymn hit you somewhere? Somewhere in your life, whether you're lost or saved, did this hymn speak and said, Tapping on the shoulder. That hymn's talking about you. Jesus, I come. What do I do with, with any of the problem, all the problem, whatever the problem? What, what is it that one part of that hymn that touched me? Jesus, I come. Not styling. Not church. I'm not, listen, I'm not rebuking the church, I'm, I'm saying it. You come to Jesus. You put your faith and trust in Jesus. Tell it to, I think that's another hymn, tell it to Jesus. Jesus, I come. I come to thee.